So guys, welcome back to RBR. So, loads of 53s now for someone looking for a bit of sporting action. You've got the E53 Saloon, E53 Wagon, E53 Coupe. We've got all the SUVs in 53 form as well. We've got the GT53 facelift that we recently showed you. And welcome to yet another visitor direct from a Falterbach. You can see this is a German press car of the brand new AMG CLS 53 4Matic Plus. It's pretty horrific today. It's really damp, it's really horrible, but this is a 4Matic Plus all-wheel drive car and it's got an additional extra of the AMG Dynamic Plus package that we've never tried yet on the 53. That gives us race mode, drift mode, and a few styling changes as well. So excited to have this on the channel. Loads gone on in terms of a new look for the CLS 53. So let's remind you what the car's all about. Check out the changes from the facelift and then take it out on the run and see how it does in this horrible weather. So today, let's check out the brand new CLS 53. So guys, today's episode of RBI is once again sponsored by Manscaped, the company who care about your balls and your hygiene. And they're back with a new performance package 4.0. And I'm gonna show you the whole package right now. Got a great discount and deal for you guys on this new performance 4.0 package, guys. First of all, they've redone the trimmer now. This is now the new version, which looks a lot sleeker. Still got the LED light in there and skin safe technology on the blades that you can replace. And if you go on their peak hygiene plan, you get replacements for all these products periodically. You also get, as before, the deodorant and the toner in here. You actually get a wireless stand now as well for this, which is pretty cool. We've got more value added than our last deal with this, the Weed Whacker, which is a trimmer for nose and ear hair. So a great bonus for you guys. And you even get two free gifts with Manscaped underwear and the Shed Carry Case. Guys, if you go to manscaped.com, use the code RBR, you'll get 20% off and free international shipping, including all the gifts and everything I've shown you in the package here. Guys, support our sponsors. Back to the episode. So check that out, guys. That looks pretty amazing, doesn't it? This is actually a very old paint shade from the Mercedes Designio collection called Mystic Blue. You might have seen it on things like G-Wagon. Um, it's on Chemise SLS Black Series, as an example. Used a lot in S-Classes, a lot in the individualization program at Mercedes-Benz. Never seen it on a CLS. Really suits the car, even though it's totally mucky. You can see that fantastic pearl of the bluey, purplish color coming through. It's really quite lovely. Of course, a new option on this version. Speaking of new options and new things, CLS has had a big facelift in the AMG version, hasn't it? Particularly the much more focused AMG front end. Look at the previous car that we had last time on the channel that you guys really liked, it did really well. I enjoyed it as well, actually. Satellite Grey Magno, twin bar grille, typical entry level AMG look. No differentiation on the lower part as to what it looks like compared to a normal CLS. The wheels were okay, standard calipers, etc. The quad pipes on the rear, but generally, it's only if you know, then you know what this car is. Whereas now the CLS 53, as with all the other entry level cars, gaining, first of all, the AMG specific grille, which of course looks amazing on the CLS. It was always built to have that grille because it always had that A-shaped uh, grille on the front as opposed to the smiley face one. So it always had that GT four-door look from the get-go. That alongside the lights that match the shape of the grille really well. But really it's the lower A-wing that I find a lot more interesting than even the grille. It's quite exaggerated now. It's a lot more aerodynamic. It's more typically 63 AMG in the way that the A-shape of that grille is. Lower part is quite interesting as well. Just finishes off the car as a proper AMG design-wise. You've got a lovely choice of new multi-spoke alloys. Again, sorry for the muck on them. Nothing has changed on the side of the car than the wheels. The rear, the same as well. The same quad pipe, same diffuser. We have got a carbon spoiler on the back of this one. Now, let's remind you what the CLS is powered by. It's that typical inline six with EQ Boost ISG system sitting in between the engine and the gearbox. So you've got 435 brake horsepower plus an additional 20 brake horsepower plus an additional 250 newton meters torque on top of the standard one, all thanks to the hybridization or the light hybridization in the CLS 53. That's all linked to the 
AMG 9-speed TCT torque converter gearbox, which goes to the Formatic Plus fully variable all-wheel drive with the drift mode. And finally, air suspension, AMG Ride Plus suspension on this as well. So a pretty impressive package. What has changed is a new package called the AMG Dynamic Plus package. And you notice that by the red calipers which adorn the car. Now this is something that has not been available in the UK for the 53 cars. It's available in Europe for all the other 53s. I hear that it might be coming to the UK within the CLS, but I've not had confirmation of that yet. If it does, it's great news because A, you get the red calipers, B, you get the AMG control unit on the steering wheel, which is fantastic. And most importantly, you get race mode as an additional option in your driving select alongside the drift mode from the E63S. This car actually doesn't have the sports exhaust system, but it actually sounds really fantastic. Wait for that. The other changes are on the inside. Of course, you get the whole new AMG steering wheel that we've covered many times. Check out the last E53 review for a more in-depth view on the steering wheel and the new MBUX system. MBUX, of course, updated within the CLS now as well. The thing that really stood out for me on the interior was the lovely new interior option of Nappa leather with gray pearl and red stitching. It looks really special. It's very, very AMG, really stands this car out from the standard CLS. So all in all, CLS 53, really well placed as a super entry level coupe. I think for my money, I'd take this over the E53 coupe. I think I would even take it over the GT 53 because you're gonna be paying that much more for something that essentially looks very similar. If nothing else, perhaps even sleeker than the GT 53 with reduced proportions. A front end that looks really, really cool. I think better than the standard GT53 front end looks, in my opinion. Love to know what you guys think. I think it looks that good. And a very similar interior to the GT53 as well because it's shared. Really makes me question why that car needs to exist. It's not available, in fact, in the UK, the GT53, and I can understand why. CLS53, really well placed to take its place. Now, no sports exhaust system on this spec, which is bad news, right? Wrong, because this is actually the loudest 53 AMG that I have driven so far. It's even louder than the last E53 that we drove that I thought was very, very loud still. So I'm really excited to show you this. Let's jump in, let's give it an AMG motion start and then try race mode with launch control and see what this baby can do despite the rubbish weather today. All right guys, let's start with some emotion start. Only... Right, now let's actually move from Sport Plus because in this car, we have race mode as well. This is sadly European only. Now let's see what the launch control is like. And you can see we've achieved 0 to 60 4.1 seconds despite being in the wet here. I think if we weren't in the wet, we might achieve even sub four seconds quite easily with this car. So pretty damn quick for a 53 AMG. Race mode feels quite different to the Sport Plus that we found in the other 53 AMG that we've produced so far. Certainly much quicker off the line with launch control. Of course, within this, if you want it, you can activate the drift mode as well, which again adds another layer to the CLS 53, or at least bragging rights if you're never going to use it. But more importantly, this emphasizes the fact that you've got the fully variable Formatic Plus traction control, which means most of the time the car is feeling rear wheel drive. And you see that within your menus here when you go into AMG Performance. The vehicle menu tells you most of the time that the car is indeed actually doing rear wheel drive stuff because you have the arrows underneath the wheels showing you where the power is going to. And right now, it's all on the rear, and you can see that right there. Look at that display there. Nothing from the front end. So though this is all-wheel drive, though this is formatic, most of the time feels like a rear-wheel drive hooligan, which again is exactly what an AMG customer wants. Again, race mode providing plenty of oral pleasure for us. Absolutely love it. Okay. We've got no performance exhaust here. However, it is the loudest 53 AMG that I've ever listened to that. that. 
I've never driven an AMG 53 that sounds this loud. That's ridiculous. So we've definitely got the sound element done, haven't we? We've got that musical instrument, AMG, play it the way the driver wants it to be played. The revs are your typical inline 653 engine. What's lovely about the CLS, as you begin to drive it, is your lower seating position, dashboard a bit higher, all very GT63S in feeling, and of course, essentially built on the same platform, almost identical interior. Again, coming back to that question, what's your reason for getting the GT53? And again, making a lot of sense for UK buyers why we don't get that car. Instead, we have this wonderful thing. So any concerns on the exhaust, even without performance exhaust option, don't worry about it. It sounds fantastic. And to be clear, that's on overrun and if you're coming to a stop on the car. Listen to that. It's fantastic. It's a pretty quick car, this, and I think what really helps is the EQ boost element. It gives you no delay on power delivery as we found with all the other 53s. And essentially what you have is actually quite a natural feeling because it doesn't feel like you're driving a turbocharged engine because the EQ boost supplementing your turbo in there to provide you power whenever you really need it. So the speed is really good. This is the type of car that you're going to be using as a daily. We drove the E53 estate recently on an extended trip and dynamically here on these roads. Found it to be a fantastic car. This is louder than that car. It's got more presence on the road of an actual sports car, invoking some of that CLS 63 vibe from the past and indeed some of the GT 63 from the present. In terms of speed and performance, more than enough for a really good daily car. I really enjoyed the E53 and I would really enjoy this car daily as well. I still maintain you get better steering feel even out of a 53 AMG like this than you do out of say BMW's M5 or Audi's RS6. The electronic steering racks on the AMG's really up there with the likes of Porsche. Though I'm not a huge fan of the steering wheel as I said in terms of the thickness the steering feel itself is great. Having the mode select here is great as well because I can switch on the fly even when we're doing like more dynamic stuff. I can switch it into comfort suspension or you know turn the traction control into mid setting and that's while we're driving without having to muck around over here which is great. This is the type of car that you can really hoon around. It's a lot more planted than the E53 that much less body roll, that much more connected to the road. I feel the suspension setup a little bit firmer, but it only helps the sports car characteristic of the CLS 53. This is undoubtedly the most sporty version of the 53 series that I've driven. I wonder how it would compare to the E53 Coupe, though if it was my money, I'd be going for this just off the basis of how brilliant the car looks on the outside and the added practicality of having four doors. It's just fantastic. Now we can move back into comfort and as I said, a little bit firmer than our typical 53s, but I really like it this way because when you look at the CLS, it looks more sports car. It is more sports car. And that's exactly what you want it to be. You don't want it to be a reskinned E53. CLS doesn't feel that way. The steering is a bit heavier. The suspension is a little bit firmer. You're sitting that much lower. You can see a little bit less of the road. I like all these little things that make the CLS unique. But still in comfort mode, able to do the whole Mercedes-Benz thing of chewing up loads of miles in comfort as we found with the E53 wagon as well. So this will be a good partner for long journeys and one that you'll want to drive again and again. And then you put it into race mode. And you've got all that AMG fun and play. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this 
CLS 53s made me very happy, especially with the exhaust now. If you enjoyed this, please do like, subscribe and share this video. And I'll see you guys back in RBR next time.